White Architecture created this beautiful architecture. This is called Trekking Cabin for the competition in Latvia. And I found this, as I said, as a very beautiful example, but at the same time, also it could be challenging for some of you to create it in Revit. And if you follow this tutorial, you will see that it's actually quite simple. So what you need to do is to understand geometry and to understand a couple of tools in Revit, in this case, a very basic tools, so you can create it. But just before I move to Revit, I would like to invite you to join our community of architects. It's free to join and we also have a free Revit training there and you can find the link in a video description. Just before I start with modeling, I would like to do some investigation here. So I will assume that we have, let's say, the width here of around 6 meters. But I'm not sure if this thickness here is the same as here, so I can maybe make it a little bit wider. Let's say 6.1, so I will leave 50 millimeters here and there. And then I can make the length of, let's say, 9 meters. And all the walls I'm going to use will be, let's say, 300 millimeters thick. So I will first firstly create all those floors. And let's just go down a little bit. So as we take, as we see here, the walls are not so high. So I will create all those walls to be, let's say, one meter in height. And for that, I will go here to the walls. And as I said, I will take walls of 300 millimeters. Height of the walls will be one meter. And then I'm going to take here finish face exterior and we'll take rectangular shape. And now let's make this to be 6.1 and then let's let's make this to be let's say 9 meters. I will take the line, the L is a shortcut and then I'm gonna make diagonal one. then I'm gonna select this wall. CS create similar. Let's make offset of 600. So let's make one here and then one here. But there is a problem. You see that this is exterior line, so I need to flip it. And the same with this one. And let's see, this is 1.2 meters. This is fine. And then I'm going to go to modify. So I will just extend those two and then to the bottom as well. And now I will select this one as well, create similar, and then I'm gonna create a circle one of let's say three meters in radius and join elements. And there is just one thing I need to do here. I will take data line from middle here, and then I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna copy that one for let's say 1.2 meters, and then below also. So in this case, I will just take these three multiple extents, select this one and then make those walls to there and then the same the same here and what we need to do in this case is to take split and then split those two walls and then let's say I need to take trim and to trim it so this looks okay in general there is one thing which is not okay so I need to extend those ends of the walls to here and for that I will just take multiple extend and then the same on the other side so this part is done let's create 3d view and in 3d view I don't need to have those uh, those levels in, in annotation categories as well as scope boxes so this is how it look like and what we need to do right now, for example, is to go here to the plan view and I can just delete those detail lines and I will then go to architecture, roof, roof by footprint. I will start on level one and then with offset of one meter. And then let's just create it. So my double click on a mouse is uh, is working uh, automatically, my mouse is done, so I just need to trim this. And then in this case, I don't need to have slope here, neither here. 
and those two needs to be 45 degrees. I can attach all the walls and you see how it look like. So this is fine. There is one thing I need to do here. You see that those walls, they're going one, one through the other. So I need to go to modify, join, and then I need to join all those walls like this. And now comes a very important part. So how we can, let's say, create this hole here. And to be able to do that, you just need to, let's say, go here to the plan view. And then let's go here to the vertical opening, select roof, and then circle, SC snap to center, make it like this. And join, skip this one. So here it comes, we did it. That's the way. I mean, you saw that it was quite simple to create it. Now you maybe wonder why I stopped here. So first of all, there is one thing which is missing, and that's floor, so I'm gonna create it. And then that floor also has some kind of opening here, so I will just go here to the circle, and then snap to center, so let's make this is 2.7, let's make this 1.7 meters. And now let's go to 3D, so this is okay. And... We have some openings here by side, and as you can see here, we have some vertical wooden planks and then look like that you have some glass, glass below. So I'm going to create it. And first of all, I will go here to the plan view and then let's go to view range. So I will make this view range to let's say 900. And then I'm going to place my walls here. Let's go to wall and then I'm going to create new curtain wall and I'm gonna name this one as let's say Architeasy curtain wall 01 so for that curtain wall I'm gonna place this system panel glazed and then vertical layout I can make to be fixed number and then let's say that for the vertical mullions I can take this 40 by 62 and then as well for the horizontal border mullions. And then I'm gonna create one, which is one meter in height, and I'm gonna place it here. Just ignore this one, and then I'm gonna select our panel. Let's go to edit type for a panel, and let's make offset on zero. And now this is okay, so let's go to 3D. You see how it look like and if we look here at the plan you will see that we have just three uh, three fields here and then I'm gonna fix it so I will select this curtain wall let's place number of vertical grids on two which means that we got two fields and then I just need to take this one and to create similar here and then also on those two sides and for all of them because this is instance parameter I need to select each of those curtain walls and to place number of vertical grids on two and by the way one more thing and that's how we can make those wooden planks so I will go here to the plan view and then again I'm gonna go to wall architectural and then I'm gonna out of this let's say not defined, create one more curtain wall type. And in this case, I'm going to name this one as Architeasy Curtain Wall 02. And in this case, for a curtain panel, I would like to place this empty one, so we don't need to have curtain, curtain panel. Then for a vertical grid, I can put the maximum spacing of, let's say, 150, or let's say just 100. And then I can, for a vertical mullion, take this 40 by 62. And then let's just draw it to see how it looks like. So I think this is fine. Then I can select this one. And I can move it from this point to here, for example. And then I can simply drag it and make it like this. And also I can just take 
this one, create similar. And in this case, I can just go to offset 31 because I know that this is, uh, I know that the width of the moulin is 62. I just need to hit space and here it comes. And then let's do the same thing here. So you just need to select curtain wall, create similar. I need to place offset to 31 again, and then I need to click space while I'm creating it. And you see, I made it up to here, so I can just take extend and then I'm going to extend it. So let's go to 3D and you see that this looks well. And I can in this case just save our file. And now we can continue further. So first of all, what I would like to do is to create wall opening. So if you take a look here at the floor plan, you see that we have opening here and then here. But let's just look at elevations and sections. So you see that they are not going all the way up. And to create, let's say, wall opening, I will go to plan view. And in this case, what I'm going to do will be to go to architecture. And then you see we have this wall opening. Take that one and then select wall and simply drag your wall opening. Then I'm going to select this wall opening and I would like to start from uh, level one, zero offset. And let's say that I would like to have 2.1 meters in height. And by the way, there is some bug here, as you can see. So even I created this opening, you see how this cuts all those things. And then if I just make this smaller, now you see that this is okay. So if I go to, let's say this, let's say up to probably, let's see, 900 or one meter. Okay, so about one meter, it doesn't work well. And in this case, how we can fix this one. So I'm going to delete this wall opening. And what I'm going to do will be to load family. I made a wall niche family. And if you'd like to learn how to create it, just take a look at the card above. And then I will just go here to insert and I'm going to load that family. So here it comes. I will just click open. Now when it's loaded, I will just go here to component, place component. And the last loaded component, I will have possibility to load uh, to place. I just need to pick the face of the wall. So let's say this one, and then I can select it. I can, let's say that elevation is zero. Then I have a width, let's make it 1.2 meters. And then I can make extrusion depth of, let's say 350. Skip this one. And in this case, I would like to make this to zero. So let's go to 3D and you see that now it works. And by the way, when I was creating this family, I made height parameter as a type and that's good. So I'm going to place this one at 2.1 meters because all our openings are going to be uh, in height of 2.1 meters. And then I can just select it, create similar, and then I can try to, to create from 3D, but I cannot. So let's go to plan view and then let's create here and here. And those two, I would like, for example, to make to be in with, let's say, 900, as well as this one. And I can just make it to be, sorry, I can make it to be zero from here. And then I'm going to select this one and then zero from here. So let's go to 3D. And I just need to select both of them and to place elevation from level to be on zero. So you see how it look like. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So select this one, create similar, and then place it here, here, and here. And I can, by the way, take match tool. So I can try to match this one and this one, and then this one as well. So this is all okay, but what's going on now when we need to cut those rounded walls? So if I select this one, create similar, and if I place it here, you see how it works. 
you see that opening works well so if i just let's say go and do here so if i select this one and make it to be 1.1 meters then you see that it's okay so i can just try to take a line tool and to align it but it doesn't it doesn't work well yet and i can just make depth to be let's say 500 so let's just go to 3d let's see how how this works and i can just place it to be on zero so this opening in general seems fine but what i what i need to do here is that i need to move it correctly so like this and then you see that this works perfectly and let's go to 3d so you see how it look like and i can again select this one this opening create similar so it doesn't matter i can just place it like this so you see that it's not perpendicular it's not let's say parallel with this wall so what i'm thinking is this so this line here and then this one they are not parallel and just to make it parallel you see what i did i just took this middle arrow or you just go here put 90 degrees and then it's going to work i just need to make this one zero and basically that's it when it comes to the modeling of this project if you would like to support us to continue creating content more often and to get the access to all our ad-free youtube tutorials its project files and extended versions of some of them as well as to more things you can do that by joining our ArchiTZ Plus community and you will find the link for that in a video description as well.